Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I am your host, Board Gamer Girl, and we are in the Liberation Campaign and about to start the Neutral Affairs Scenario. To win, you must capture all enemy towns and castles and defeat all enemy heroes. Some border guards can only be passed if a hero carries a quest artifact from a previous scenario, but the artifact beyond the border guard will travel with you to the next scenario. We're going to take expert logistics because the other two only give you like a plus two to attack or defense. My name is Winston Langer, ambassador from Gracada, ruled by Grand Vizier Gavin Magnus. Forces from Tetalia and Krulad are fighting in West Arathia. After months of conflict, the battle still rages. Though weary of yet another war, my king sent reinforcements to aid your efforts. Brilliant tactics will not win this battle. Body count will determine the victor. Good luck. For months, Tatalia and Kulad have fought with Abrathia and with each other in a series of border disputes. Normally, the Wizards of Bracada would be content to remain out of any fighting, but with all that Arathia has been through recently, they have chosen to assist us. The Wizards have set up a modest outpost on the shared arathian tatalian Kulad border. Forces from our own military have been sent to the area to join them. Between us, we should be able to not only stop the fighting between Tatalia and Kulad, but to re-establish the Arathian border as well. Strike quickly and eliminate all opposition in the area. We must teach our neighbors that it was unwise for them to think they could take advantage of a weakened Arathia. Alright, let's get that back to a much simpler one. We've got Torosar. <sighs> Mysticism and tactics. These are not exactly my favorite, but uh, whatever. I guess they will have to do. We'll get ourselves a Mage Guild level 1, because that's what we always do. Okay, okay. Well, I think it's time to explore. Ooh, there we go, we got some wood. And some gold. Some more gold. Alright. Actually, no, we'll go for the other one. Theodorus. Basic wisdom and basic ballistics. What is with some of these, like, secondary things? Basic wisdom and... Yuck. Yuck. I'm not really a fan of either of these heroes, but I guess we will go with Theodorus because he has the right troop types for what we currently have. Although I'm still not best pleased with this nonsense. Build ourselves some town halls. Okay, Theodorus, time to get ourselves some resources. Uh, okay, those are all guarded. I do not really remember this scenario. I yes, I I would like to recruit Black Knights. I think what we're gonna end up doing is having at the moment a. Uh, a tower, I think is the name of the troop, a tower army, and a refugee army, because there's really no reason not to. We'll get a town hall, we'll delay building up troops just so that we have money, because money is important, especially with all these, with all of the... Refugee camps, we're going to be spending more money because we're going to be buying troops from them. So, it's more important to just build up some towns for, uh, for money. A scout reports that there are many refugee camps along the border. No crap. Populated with creatures who were forced from their homes by the continuous fighting in this area. Yes. Okay. There we go, we're getting that at least. Pit Lords? 
sure, we will have the no morale crazy army of random, <laughs> random troops. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, let's get ourselves some golems. And some marketplaces. Just for good measure, we'll be able to move even faster. That'll be awesome. I'll go for advanced mysticism because we're going to have to be a little more cautious now that you have the most ridiculous set of army troops in the land. Or skills, not army troops. What am I talking about, hmm? Ooh, that was way more than I... Uh, well, at least we don't need that for any of this nonsense. Okay. Almost sec. Okay. Torsar. Go for some advanced wisdom. We'll give you one of these badge of courages. Which one is the quest item? I have no idea. I just know that one of them is. So these will come over here, and these will come over here. And now we have truly the goofiest army known to mankind. Basic scouting! Shoot! I should have gotten that with the other dude. Because now we have even more useless, useless skills. Thank goodness this guy does not carry over to the next scenario. Because, my goodness, his skills are just so useless. I mean, look at this. We've taken up half his spots, and none of, well, except for logistics, none of them are things that I would take first. None of them would be my first choices. Uh, wait, actually, let's get ourselves a city hall. That is more important, because we need money for our troops. Pack of iron golems? Wait, you have a ballista too, don't you? No. Who has the ballista? Yes. Torosar has the ballista. Even though you don't have expert artillery. I'm not convinced that I can take that on yet, honestly. Uh, I need to make a decision. We'll take on the halberdiers. I feel better about that. Okay, now we don't have enough to build the other city hall, so now we'll get ourselves a mage tower. I don't know if that was really the smart move, but it's what we're going for. Woohoo, we have tactics. I, I don't need you guys to move anywhere. Oh, that's right. And because we don't even have artillery, we don't get to choose who we fight. That's awesome. Great. Okay. Well, we can lost a bunch of dudes, but now at least we can get some extra resources. Psh. 
Well, good. I got him a stable. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, I think we can get... Yes. So we're going a little bit slower on creature development in this one. Like I mentioned earlier, but... But it, it's mainly it's mainly because we have all of these resources. You still only do thirty points of damage, right? The ballista kind of just crap too. Uh, we need more troops before we do that nonsense. I'm gonna wait on this for a sec and just make sure I've got Theodorus where I want him. Ooh, we can see distant lands. Now you're just gonna come up here so that you run at a reasonable clip. Okay, so we're not buying anything this week, so we can get ourselves some magi and some more cannon fodder. Those are the things we really want at the moment. And then we'll get ourselves a marketplace so that we can be on our way. Since we can't get there this turn, we'll wait until next turn. Oh, this only costs three points. I don't... 100% understand why that is. Maybe it's some random side effect of mysticism, or just these the nature of these heroes? I, I don't really know. How much do you have? We have five health left. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well, actually. If I do say so myself, we're actually going to wait on that. dudes, and attack these dudes, and our ballista care of them. Okay, not too shabby, mainly because we have those magi. Now, where are some other packs of swordsmen? Okay, we can take on that pack of swordsmen too. I don't want to take on the crusaders quite yet because they're fast, they're faster than the swordsmen, and they do more damage. Vampires? Yes. That's fine. Not really. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, I don't really care for... Okay, so I need to get those two. That would take me to day two, day three. Day four, day five, day six, day seven. So I should have enough time to get everything that I want, as long as I'm careful. Okay. <sighs> Fine, we'll take some imps. Those guys are even worse. Whatever, this army can take on a pack of griffins, no problem. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous army I've ever seen, but at least it only incorporates three different army types. Uh, and actually, I think we're going to probably save this battle for next time. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Board Gamer Girl saying, see ya!